Here's a thermodynamics question which uses quite a bit of calculus and you need to know and you need to know how to use some calculus to be able to do this particular problem. And this is the kind of stuff that you wouldn't really see as a high school student unless you go to some kind of physics competitions or Olympiads, but you will most likely see something similar to this if you're doing some kind of engineering and if you're a first year student. So let's read the question and let's see what we have to do. And if you have any ideas or any suggestions of similar problems that you'd like to see on the channel, let me know in the comments. So <clears throat> we know that the volume of one mole of an ideal gas with the adiabatic exponent gamma, so first of all, this is the same as the specific heat ratio. So specific heat ratio which is called gamma and for air it's 1.4 and for other gases has different values. So the volume of one mole of an ideal gas, so this problem is dealing with moles rather than kilograms. The volume is varied according to the law V equals A over T where A is a positive constant. Right? The question doesn't say that but it's pretty uh, obvious and we're asked to find the amount of heat obtained by the gas in this process. So basically how much heat is absorbed by the gas if the temperature raises by an amount delta T. So we're going to pretend here for a second that we know this value delta T, which we don't have a number for it, but we assume it is given. So let's try to see how we can actually do this. And to find the heat, normally I would do I would use the first law of thermodynamics, which is that heat is equal to work plus delta U. And the reason for doing this is because in most cases, including this one, it's easier to find those two separately and then add them together, and that gives you the heat that you're looking for. So let's actually start with the delta U. So this is the change in internal energy which has which always has the formula n times cv times delta t so no matter which process you have delta u is always the same because it doesn't actually depend on the process it depends on the first and the last state actually just depends on the change in temperature okay and that's it now we can rewrite this as n but the question is saying we're dealing with one mole, so we're going to ignore n. We're going to say that n is equal to 1. So this is just Cv times delta T, and we know Cv is just R over gamma minus 1 times delta T. Okay, so right now we have this delta U, we have the change in internal energy in a form which involves variables that we know. Right, so we have R, which should be Ru in reality, that's the universal gas constant, not the specific one. Uh, we know gamma because it's considered given and delta t is also considered given so let's go on and find what the work is so the formula for work as you probably know if you're doing any thermodynamics is it's the integral of pdv from v1 to v2 and because it's an integral it means it does actually depend on the process but the question does tell us something about how the process looks like, right? It tells us that the V, the volume, is always proportional to the temperature. So normally what you would do in those situations is you would look at the pressure and you would express pressure in terms of volume. And that's how you would find the work. But in this case, I'll do it slightly differently because if you remember the question already tells us something about the temperature. So rather than expressing things in terms of volume, I'm going to express pressure and volume in terms of temperature. So I need to find a way to do that. Well, actually half of the work is already done because I know that volume is A over temperature. So that's done. The only thing left to do is to express pressure in terms of volume as well. So how do we do that? we write the ideal gas law. So we have PV is equal to N RU times T or PV is equal to RU times T because remember we have just one mole of gas in the question which means that the pressure P is just RU T over V. 
or we can then say that pressure is RUT. So we have V in here that we want to get rid of. And we know V is A over T. So this is just A over T like this. So if we flip the bottom fraction, this is RU over A times T squared. Okay, so we have volume in terms of temperature. We have pressure in terms of temperature. Right, and then RU over A is just a constant. So let's try to put everything in here but there's only one thing left to do before we can do that which is we have to express this dv in terms of temperature as well so we have v as a over t but then we have to find what the differential of v is as well so if we apply you know just some basic differentiation rules we'll see that this is minus a over t squared dt Okay, so we wanted to convert not just V and P in terms of T, but also this DV right here. So let's write the formula for work. So we have work equals the integral of, and now instead of P, I'm going to replace P with this, which is RU over A T squared. And then instead of DV, I'll write minus A over T squared DT. And we're doing everything in terms of temperature. So this is going to be from temperature 1 to temperature 2, whatever they are. And what you'll see is that there will be some cancellations, thankfully. So we have A goes with A, T squared goes with 1 over T squared. And then this is therefore minus, so I'm taking this minus outside, integral T1 to T2 of RU dt, or minus R universal integral from t1 to t2 of dt and this is a trivial integral right this is just minus ru times t2 minus t1 now we don't know t21 but we know the difference and that's what matters so so we know t2 minus t1 is delta t so the work is minus the universal gas constant times delta t which is negative Okay, so this value is negative, meaning that the gas doesn't actually do work. Work is being done on the gas. Okay. So let's write, let's find out the heat. So the heat is work plus change of U. So the work, we just found it as minus RU delta T. And the delta U is this one. So RU over gamma minus 1 delta t. We can factorize the gas constant and the delta t. So we have ru delta t times, I'll start with this term, so 1 over gamma minus 1 minus 1, which is ru times delta t, and this is 1 minus, we're going to bring this 1 to the same denominator as the previous fraction, so this is gamma minus 1 over gamma minus 1. So this is RU times delta T and then 1 minus gamma plus 1 over gamma minus 1 which is RU multiplied by delta T multiplied by 2 minus gamma over gamma minus 1. And this is the heat. So if you think about it, we know everything there is to know in this formula, right? So we know the value of the universal gas constant. We know delta t because the problem tells us to pretend that we know that and we also know the gamma so the final answer is purely expressed in terms of things that we know and that's the end of the question